Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of EV Exclusive. My name is Stephen Kovic. I'm Nina Marchitello. And we are going to be checking out this incredible waterfront property in central Saanich. So we are on Vancouver Island and we're only 30 minutes away from downtown Victoria. So very conveniently located and we're very close to the airport and the ferry terminal as well. Mm -hmm. So the specs on the house that we're going to see today, there are actually various buildings on a six acre lot, but the main home is a four bedroom, seven bathroom, house that is 7,911 square feet of interior space on a 5.95 acre lot. Massive. It's massive. <laughs> yeah, it's listed for 10.9. And uh, we'd like to say thank you to the listing agents, Scott Piercy and James LeBlanc from Engel Invokers Vancouver Island for the opportunity. And now what better way to get started then? Let's, Let's go. check it out. Thank you, Stephen. What do they say? Age before beauty? Yes, that's what they say. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> that too. So it works. This is a beautiful entryway. It is very West Coast contemporary. Yeah. As soon as we walk in, this beautiful entry, the totem pole. Three stories. It's actually by Tony Hunt and it goes between all three floors, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So it would pretty much have to stay with the home yeah, because it, it would be leave. very difficult to remove. <laughs> the home is designed by John DeCastri and I love some of the details in this home. And as we walk in, we're in the formal dining area. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Seating for 10. We have the Beautiful. fireplace, which is see-through, so you can yeah. enjoy it while you're having dinner and also from the sunken living room yeah. on the other side. Beautiful. Yeah. This is floor to ceiling granite. Look at this. So beautiful feels amazing. And now we're in the sunken living room and like the views here are so expansive and it feels so much larger here. Yeah, there's this wraparound deck and ocean front. And I have to say that <laughs> the selling feature for me in this home is, um, as we mentioned, we're in Saanich. There's only 43 waterfront properties. Yeah. So if you want a house, it's not always a possibility to find one that's for sale. Out of those 43, only 13 of them have foreshore, so allow boat access. And of those 13, this is the largest one. So 750 feet of ocean front, of which 330 is foreshore. And there are two boat docks here. One is also covered, and we'll see it a little later, but just, uh, you it's know. It's a lot of, it's beautiful. It's a legacy. You can do it's, everything here. Yes. Love it. Yeah. What I love about this kitchen is that it still follows the West Coast contemporary style. And I love the modern finishes on the cabinetry and mm -hmm. all of that as well. It's very modern, seamless. Yeah. It's it's almost a little monotone, so it, it flows really nicely. Wow. The same um, cabinetry color is similar to the one on the floor. So we've got wide plank wood floors yeah. throughout and integrated uh, dishwasher. I love the integrations. We have to mention the wolf the range because these beautiful. red knobs are absolutely a fan favorite. Always my favorite too. It just looks very professional. Yes. Yeah. And then I do want to point out. Look, this goes you know, into the ceiling cabinetry, which is great for me because I right. You can reach. reach exactly. Yeah. yeah. And look at the size of this fridge. So we have a Sub Zero uh, fridge on this side, and, and then the freezer over here. Freezer over here. I love this. And this living room, what I really like about it too, it kind of, it's offset by this like coffee bar, this prep station mm -hmm. kind of behind us over here. And this would sort of be your informal living room, I guess, right? Like yeah. you would watch, you know, shows, TV, Definitely. Your family. Yeah, casual, you've got your fireplace here. You could have a cup of coffee and look at the view. And this is sort of a prep area or secondary kitchen. Yeah, 
It's a sub-zero wine fridge. Yeah. There is a full other room, essentially, with a bar, yes. but um, this is a yes. nice little, yeah, flex area. Yeah. You have a fireplace, another little seating area here for your coffee, and um, yeah, That's it's good. amazing. I feel like in all of these tours, we always have to like divide and conquer yes. a little bit, so there is an indoor pool. I feel like you should check out the indoor pool. I'd love to. It's a lot toastier down there, <laughs> and I'll go upstairs. Sounds okay. good. Let's, Let's go. So as we come down to the lower level of the home, it's 3,416 square feet. It feels like a wellness center. There is um, a laundry just to my right, and then this flex room, which is being used for yoga, stretching, exercise. You could obviously turn it into a full gym if you wanted to. And then there is also a music room to my left. And then we're gonna head this way to see the indoor pool and hot tub. Hello friends, look at this pool. It feels very tropical in here, it's warm. The pool is heated. There's also a hot tub if you just wanna relax over on this side. There's also a convenient shower which is built into this gorgeous stone uh, work as well. And we have ocean views. It, it, it really feels like a spa here. It's absolutely amazing. And just this way, there's also another little chill room, sun room, somewhere to go read. So let's go have a look at that. This seating area just feels really zen. It's very in theme with the whole um, lower level here of just this, this wellness and relaxation. So I could really imagine myself having a nice swim and then just coming here afterwards and uh, having a cup of tea or something. So um, we should probably go and see where Stephen is at. The top level of the home has four of the bedrooms here, including the primary bedroom. I do want to point out that the Tony Hunt totem pole that I said um, is the three floors. We're on the top floor. It's right there. Um, but all four bedrooms over here are very spacious. They can all fit um, a king size bed. They all have their own en suite. And you actually have the convenience of your washer and dryer up here as well, as well as an exit to the outdoors. But the primary bedroom has some beautiful views and it's also my favorite. Now this is a really sizable primary bedroom and I really do love this one, particularly because of the vaulted ceilings over here. So it obviously makes the space feel a lot larger, but you also have this like custom woodwork over here too. And it's again with that West Coast contemporary style, which I really like, but being here, it's the view that is the best part. So you're still facing the Saanich Inlet it is absolutely gorgeous. You can sit out there, unwind with a glass of wine, a coffee, and it just feels very relaxing in this room. But the relaxation continues in the ensuite. This ensuite has this integrated uh, walk-in closet over here. So everything floor to ceiling, built-ins. It's a little bit darker in tone, it seems, from the, the lower level of the home, but you can store everything here. It kind of feels a little bit like a locker room, but in a very high-end elevated way. You have your bench over here so you can tie your shoes. You have a full-length mirror over here so you can see yourself in beautiful lighting, again, while facing the gorgeous view. There is in-floor heating throughout the entire space. You have two vanities over here and then a beautiful tub, again, so you can enjoy the view. And then this is the shower in front of me, but this is a one-way mirror. So I can see me, but I can't see the camera right now. And it's kind of really cool for an added level of privacy, but also luxury. So I think that's a really cool feature. And obviously the shower is just awesome as well. But I do want to show you guys we have the boathouse to see next. So let's go see that. We're at the large boathouse on the property. So this is like 1300 square feet, just over. And this is a 31 foot boat. So, but this actually can fit a 50 foot boat, just so you understand how large this boathouse actually is. Some other really cool things to point out is you do have a rooftop patio above you as well. So you can sip cocktails, um, enjoy the sunsets because they're beautiful, I've heard. And then fun fact, some of these old antique pulley systems and this ore actually come with the property as well with a few other things. So you definitely get that nostalgic feel of what it's like to own a boathouse and kind of have that heritage um, decor a part of the space. 
This guy though, this is kind of a cool feature because this is an automatic winch which actually launches and retrieves the boat. Um, and it's also in a railway system as well. So this is really cool and this is all automated. This is not your everyday garage. Just trying to take it all in, it's very large. It is approximately 46 feet by 62 feet. And there is a collection of um, special vehicles here. So um, not a car expert, but you know, what a great space if you had several cars to be able to park and take care of them here. It could also be used for hobbies and a as a workshop. We have this am amazing art piece. I think my favorite is definitely the blue El Camino at the end, very cool. And um, it's also like a rec center. So we have a ping pong table. There is two sport courts. So one is, uh, well, they could basically both be used for squash or for pickleball. And then above us is a full size tennis court. On to the next surprise. If this property couldn't have any more incredible features, well, now we have an old English pub. This looks so authentic to me. Look at the pieces over here. So this is actually all from London, England, these pieces. And this whole um, rec room or games room up here, as you call it, um, is kind of meant to emulate um, a ship in a way, right? So you have your bar over here, you have room to you know, seat your guests over here, and another house with a snooker table. And this isn't an, actually an antique snooker table. It's still a game I don't know how to play. But then as you move your way over here, now you can face the oceanfront views and a tennis match if you wanted and you had a bunch of friends over, everyone could be playing tennis out there. And you can just have a nice drink here from your casual English pub. So this is the guest suite. It's its own separate cottage. It's 1,502 square feet. 10 foot ceilings here, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. The primary bedroom has a four piece ensuite and then there's also a three piece bathroom with side by side laundry. I'm in the dining room right now. Obviously it's vacant right now, but um, you could use it for many different things like an Airbnb or a nanny suite or it would be the perfect guest house for family and friends when they're staying over so that they're, everybody's separate and has their privacy. We have a kitchen and living room with a fireplace. And just off of the living room, there's also a really cute ground level patio with a fire pit, as well as French doors to lead you outside. And there's a nice water feature there. So just overall, a really nice additional space. Um, it's always a bonus to have something like this. This is a six horse stable. So now obviously there's no actual horses on the property anymore. But if you ever wanted to reconvert it into a place where horses could live, it's pretty easy to do because everything's built in here. You have little watering features, a place to put the hay and all of that. And then you also have a little bit of a riding range where the horses can kind of just hang out and graze the grass and all of that while they also have a beautiful ocean view. So this is definitely a cool feature to have on this property. Nina, that is a wrap on a $10.9 million property. It is. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to the listing agents, Scott Piercy and James LeBlanc. Their information will be below as well as more information on the property. And as always, guys, we love making these videos. So like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video. I'll lead you in. Okay. This is beautiful. Best. Total West Coast sorry, contemporary. I'm, sorry. I'm, so, <laughs> so, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm like. <laughs> right. You kind of walk in <laughs> into that way, and I'll kind of walk in. Like, so you come on this side? Yeah. Does that make sense? Is that how I came up? Hi. We'll walk this way. This way. Yeah, so okay. we don't, we're like, I'm going that way, you're going that okay. way. Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of EV Exclusive. 
I'm Nina Marchitello. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. Okay, there you go, see? Is it a fin? Oh, it's a duck. Little otters, oh my God, it's a loon. Oh, there's also a starfish down there. Oh, look at all the starfishes in the corner. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> it's something with a long neck.